Hello and welcome back to our Flourish Your Beauty Live. And today's theme is your path of devotion. I've been speaking about this on my private podcast on my inner sanctum here in the last two days and I wanted to bring it here today into the public domain because I feel like there is so much relevance to this and such an importance in, especially in these times right now as we're going through these rapid shifts and changes and all of the things that are still to come where um, each of us it's almost like I can see it with many of my clients um, in person I can see it in my groups I can see it in my communities I can see it even with people sometimes when I don't expect it where um, we're all being almost, it's almost like this gathering where we're all being activated for what we're here through many lifetimes, through eternity and eons, where it's like it's now a coming together. And there is this alignment starting to come in about your own path of devotion and what that is uniquely to you. And as you're coming in, please go ahead and say hello and where you're joining from. And uh, if you haven't, if you're coming from my group and you haven't given uh, StreamYard permission to see your profile, then please go ahead and write who it is when you're saying hello. So this way I can say hi, Jane. Hi. <laughs> and uh, thank you for being here with me. I am so excited to not do this just by myself because this is what it's really all about. It's about all of us coming together to reset. So, hi. Oh, hey, from Nashville. Let me know who this is. <laughs> so, and, um, and so grateful to be here with all of you and do this together with you. And then later on, whoever is coming in for the replay, then please go ahead and say replay and hello. Let me see. Brittany, hi. Oh, thank you for being here. So awesome. So um, today's theme, I was speaking about that this is about our path of devotion. And it's really that we can all kind of feel this, that there are shifts and changes that are taking place. And it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's a buildup over many lifetimes. It's a buildup over this life where there has so much growth and so much energy gathering and so much, so many shifts that have taken place where um, it's all kind of coming in where it's like, okay, what is this for me uniquely that I'm here to do? It's a path of service that we're stepping into um, a part a path of service to something beyond us something higher than us something that is us and something that is more profound than just the ordinary things in life just the standard things that we're doing and more shifting now into a space of okay where is my destiny and how do I align with this how do I align with that inner alchemy that I can feel within me and that path of self-mastery. So we're going to cover some big themes here today. I hope you came ready and prepared because that's what's going, what we're going to be doing today. So hello, hello. Let me say hi here again for a moment. Bernadette, oh, hi. Thank you for joining. Oh, so let me say hi to each of you. So Jane from Japan, hi, hi. So Jane and I, by the way, I'm just going to say this now. We have some really big things planned for you because I just released my public podcast, which is the Flourish Your Beauty show and uh, Jane is helping me with these lives here to make them really beautiful for you so she's turning them for me for you for us <laughs> into these magical meditations with a music background that I chose and um, this will all go live this coming Monday the 17th at 7 p.m central daylight time when we're going well actually it'll go live that day already but at 7 p.m we're going to have a big launch party so you are all invited. I hope you can come. And uh, I went ahead and sent the Zoom link out today just a little while back um, on email, but it's also going to be posted everywhere. So you'll be able to see it and find it. Oh, I am so excited too. So it's so amazing how, and this probably is a really great thing because this goes for everyone and for all of you too, that there's never any coincidences. Shane and I were just talking recently when we met just how amazing this was because it's just 
we knew there was just a mutual attraction when we met in person in at Laguna Beach many years ago. And now it's coming together where it's like, wow, now we get to collaborate and we get to do amazing things together. And it's just so beautiful how we might not sometimes know or might think something different is taking place. But then here behind the scenes, we're all being guided for some things that are meaningful and we might not even recognize it exactly what it is in the moment. So yes, 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 launch party, I can't wait. So we're gonna do some really cool stuff at the launch party. It's gonna be a Zoom call with everyone together. So come live with us and let's celebrate together. I have the wish, wish and the goal still eventually to have a hundred women on a live. So this might not quite happen yet. And um, yeah, and it might not quite uh, be at the launch party yet, but eventually, because it is all about the numbers at this point. It is about us all coming together at the same time and to hold that higher frequency. So this way we can have major, major shifts here in the world. So with this, let's begin. So if you're ready, if you have a candle, then this is your time to light your candle. And if you don't have a candle, that, whoop, <laughs> that is totally fine too. If you have mala beads or maybe you have a crystal or something else that's meaningful to you that you just want to connect in with and hold for a moment because this is also your connection point any other time that you can refer to any time. So um, giving this all a moment to complete. And then hold your candle in your hands. And for all of you who have a candle lit and for all of you who are holding an object or maybe you're just tuning in to yourself, let's find that still point, that moment of quietness. Let's also connect in together in this moment for the duration of this time for it to automatically always dissolve when it's complete. yourself grounding in now leaving everything behind that came before and will come after knowing that the only thing that matters is you here right now in this moment and then already feel just in the second that shift that has taken place and then i'm gonna set my candle off here to the side for a moment And now let's take a couple minutes just to find our still point. Bring your hands together for a moment in this prayer gasho position. And then go ahead and rub your hands together. Close your eyes if you like, or if you still want to keep them open, that's fine too. And then clap. This clears and activates energy and then bring out your hands in this W position with the palms open up to the sky and receiving. I'm just going to spread these out. Now feel yourself grounding in, connecting in to Mother Earth, sending gratitude and thanks. And then also feeling the gratitude returned to you and receiving, receiving the warmth, receiving the gifts, the connection. As you also now tune in to the higher energies from what we consider above through the crown chakra, tuning in to those frequencies that are all around us. Feeling the tingling in your fingers, in the chakras of your hands in the open palms. Maybe you even feel a magnetic energy, almost like a weight. You can also envision kind of like this rounded curve, this arch of energy from one hand to the other and be surprised that you're feeling this, noticing it, sensing it, maybe even seeing energy of light. And then bring your hands together over that area of the soul center. 
And that's between the heart chakra and the throat chakra, that center where we naturally put our hands because it feels so soothing, so good. And there's no coincidence in that because this is the, center, the seat of our soul. And let yourself land here. And in this moment, I'm envisioning all of us together feeling into all of us and our combined energy as we're doing this as these beautiful, powerful women with each of us within our unique purpose. And then if you like, you can go ahead and bring your hands down. And simply be present in yourself for a moment, grounding in even more feeling those energies, feeling maybe a warmth, maybe a tingling, and just a really beautiful light connection that's present here on this day, on this beautiful, beautiful day that is such a gift to us. And on this day where we can tap into um, our path of devotion. So for a moment, I'm going to be quiet as which is going to be thinking about our path of devotion. What does that mean to us? What does it mean to you when I speak those words of your path of devotion? What is that for you? Feel into that energy, feel into um, the known and the unknown and the possibilities of it for a moment. And it is with the understanding that you came here for something beyond just the ordinary. Beyond just living a life here within the structures of the physical. But that you also came here in order to expand your spirit, to expand your soul into a much bigger capacity. And this understanding brings you here in this moment right now. And you wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. And so as you're feeling into your path of devotion, there can be many different facets to it. This is something that your soul already agreed on before you came into this lifetime. And there's always a memory of it. There's something that says I'm ready for this. And everything leading up to this moment has prepared you for it. And especially the challenges, especially those times of the dark nights of the soul because you've made it through it and you became stronger, you became seasoned. So you became ready to hold a much higher energy, a much higher frequency for yourself and for others and for the world, the ones that you are here to help at this time. And you became much stronger for your purpose that you put here for. And this path of devotion is always to the highest, highest source, whatever name you want to call it. If you want to call it God, Goddess, Divinity, Grace, Higher Self, Source, whatever feels right for you, whatever your background allows. No one trusts that it's true and that you're here to step into it now. Know that there are no coincidences. Everything is by design. 
even the things that are seeming mistakes or distractions or roundabouts. Because in this timeline, in this part of your reality, that's your path. And whatever is coming up for you right now, whatever um, you might envision, whatever your thoughts might be in this moment, trust and know that there's value to it. And sometimes we play small. Sometimes we feel like self-mastery in you know, alchemy. Really, like for me, I can claim some of these things. Yes, you can, because anything less than that would not serve you and would not serve that higher purpose. It wouldn't serve all that you're here to do. So it is important to, um, in dignity, in honesty, and in a deep commitment to your truth, to allow the opening for it and to not shy away, to not shrink. Because this path of devotion is the least selfish thing that you can do. And it includes taking good care of yourself, being so attuned to your own needs, desires, the visions that you're receiving, and allowing it all in, because it all comes from something much higher. It's a path of service. That is the greatest purpose. And that's what we're here for. So take another moment to feel into that and then bring your hands out. And from your soul center, send this beautiful energy out of love, connection, moving it to the front, to the side, to the back, energetically expand your energy field, make it as wide as you can, make it highway size and beyond, encompassing all that it can reach, all where it can land. And if there's something or someone specific today that can use this beautiful frequency of love, this beautiful wave that you're emitting right now in this calm that you're feeling. Let it land because everybody will pick it up when it's right for them. All you have to be is the sender. You don't have to worry about anything else. You just let it go from here. as far and as wide as it will reach, knowing that all of us that are meeting here right now and all of us coming together in the replays later have this beautiful frequency and this beautiful energy now, this beautiful wave that is shifting so much Sometimes we don't even know, and that's okay. All we have to do is simply send. That's our only job. Trusting and knowing that it will end wherever it wants to, wherever it's needed. Beautiful. 
And then whenever you're ready, let that continue to trickle out as you bring your energy back to you, coming back to your field. And then feeling for one more moment into the quiet of your own center, of your own beingness. And feel how different that feels from when we started. Beautiful. And then one more time, bring your hands over your soul center. Noticing the change. And this beautiful frequency within you now. Letting it land. No matter if you're just starting your day or if it's almost time to wind the day down or it's somewhere in midday, take this energy with you and bring it to everything that you do today and everyone you encounter today. Let this touch everything. And then whenever you're ready, open your eyes, come back here, welcome back. Hi, hi. And you can either keep your candle on, and I'm gonna make this purposeful remembrance of extinguishing my candle with the snuffer, giving thanks to the fire and the transformation and the light. And all good things to you. And I'll let you come back for a moment and then love your shares if you would like to share anything about this. And I'm gonna have a sip of my peppermint tea. <clears throat> we have our peppermint and thyme growing out in the garden again. So I picked some fresh peppermint and some thyme and put it in my hot water. And it feels so good. Okay. So I have this comment here. It will come through. Not sure who said this. And then I also have this one here, hardest part for me. So if you want to uh, collaborate a little bit on that. And then also let me know, know who, who it is. That'd be great. And I'll be able to see it later when I come back on to... Oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you for being here. Thank you, all of you, for being here. I know we had seven on at one time and I'm so grateful because for me, it's really, like I said, about all of us coming together and there's such an increase in energy and volume when we're doing it together. And it's so important. <clears throat> and these times are all about collaboration and cooperation and this is what we're ushering in and this is what we're beginning here oh beautiful yes absolute good that is excellent namaste no i'll give you one more moment and then we'll close this Mm. And please feel free to type later. And then for any of you who are watching the replay, feel free to type in anything that's coming up for you and anything that will still continue to come up for you. Let's just keep the conversation going. And I'll be checking in in the group to see who has said what. So this way I can respond as well. 
And um, I know we're already running a little later today, but I'm so grateful for all of you here. It's, I've enjoyed every moment of this and I'm so honored and grateful to be of service and be on this truly devotional path. It's an amazing journey and an amazing adventure to be here in this time. Ladies, have an amazing rest of your day, evening, night, morning, <laughs> and namaste. And I will see you Monday evening, 7 p.m.